Alright, so my M12 slash 18C standard old Milwaukee charges just spat the biscuit when I uh, put this little 12 volt 1.5 amp hour in it. It flashed uh, red and green here and now it's dead, it won't do anything. I tried it in a different power source, etc. It's still dead. Went and put this battery in the uh, three bay charger over there and it's killed the centre bay. Now it won't light up, I've unplugged it for a while, let it sit, it's still, yeah, it's still dead. So I'm going to open this one and have a look inside and see what the hell's happened. Make sure you plug it, unplug it from the AC. Never play with AC. It likes to bite. I'm hoping there's just a really small fuse or something in here that's killed. This one's not under warranty anymore, but um, the big one over there definitely is. That can, uh, that can be taken back. A bigger, bigger torx bit. Too big. Well, way too big. Let's have a look what we've got in here. Let's try that one. That was a T15, what's this one? T20, there you go. screws in this case as well. We can't lose them. That's all the screws I can see. Oh, yep. Can't see any fuses on the top side of the board, which is where you'd assume they'd be. The board unscrews. Of course, it's a small size screw. So let's zip the board out and have a look. I reckon they're T15s on the inside, but the T10 is working. Not causing any slip. Might have to over here. Like I say, this is definitely a video I didn't intend on making. But uh, I thought for my own sake I need to pull this apart and have a look. Work out what the hell's gone wrong. This piece that charges the uh, 12 volt batteries is all hanging on a post pretty bad. I 
doesn't appear to have anything on the bottom side. I really don't know what's going wrong here. Now one thing that's for sure, we have to pull this apart and see what's happening there. There must be a short between one of the terminals or something that's killed these charges. Well, this is really unfortunate. It looks like we've got a resistor, a little coil, a couple of electrolytic, no, um, ceramic capacitors, and a box style capacitor, coil capacitor. Nothing remotely fused looking in here at all. Put it all back together. Shut the lid so it's safe. Power it up and make sure it still doesn't work. I might even just take it in and see if they can do something for me. Because it's not all that old. I don't think it's out of warranty. Oh, it's going to be borderline, I'm not sure. I have to find an invoice for it. I don't know if they do two or three year warranties on the charger. Someone might be able to tell me down in the comments. In Australia, that is. I reckon their warranties might differ from place to place. Okay, let's slip the body back on. No good. Normally this kind of gear is mega reliable. It's okay, I've still got a charger. Um, I've still got two bays of the big charger and uh, I've got the 18 volt radio charger as well. We've got a six bay sequential charger at work. We really need to know what's going wrong with that battery. So it doesn't happen again to someone, that's terrible. Uh, I've got a feeling I paid about a hundred and 160 bucks for this charger in its day. Okay, so it's safely back together. Plug it back into a power source. And a normal battery. And it's going again. That battery's cooked, it's got like 4 volts in it. Well, I'm just going to go and unplug the big 4 bay, no, 3 bay one, 6 bay, whatever. The big multi rapid charger and uh, see if that comes back to life. So, I got this one that I'm testing. The warranty one I picked up. Look at how shagged it is. Beat up, covered in dirt. It's uh, showing three lights. I did have four, I've had it on the floodlight. And it works. That's great news for this. My, uh, I'm not going to lie, my heart was skipping a bit of a beat when I plugged it into the big one and it didn't work so hopefully the big one comes back to life too I've got that unplugged and I've pulled all the batteries out of it I'll leave it that way for a while um, yeah I really don't know YouTube, it must uh, 
must go into a protection mode and kill itself. It's the only thing I can think of. Let's uh, pull this battery apart and I'll make another video and we'll reshell it so that it looks neat. I've got some 4 amp hour shells that aren't so beat up. Sitting around, see how dirty it is inside. So that's really good news that this charge is still alive. This battery needs a Clearly identifying because this was the this was the one that did the damage. It's brand new. It's a brand new battery. It doesn't have a mark. Well, it's got texture on it now because I marked it so I don't put it on the charger again. It's a brand new battery. I'll open that up see if we can bring it back to life. Or we'll find a dead short or something. All right, guys. If you're still watching, thank you. Um, if you charge the stuff up like that, unplug it, take the cells out of it for a while, and, I don't know, come back to it the next day and see what happens. Fingers crossed that works for you too. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you on the next one.